This is Aaron True from MMA Worldwide. I'm here with Misha Tate. Misha, I'm surprised you were willing to accept another interview with me because after our last interview a few weeks ago, your opponent pulled out of your fight. Can you tell us what's happened since we spoke last? Um, well, yeah, Kim Couture pulled out of the fight for, um, I guess, personal reasons. I'm not really 100% sure why, but um, um, uh, Strikeforce went ahead and picked another opponent. I didn't really have any any say in it, but um, they just said, well, you know, it's, it's this or nothing, and I figure you can't win if you don't fight, so I'm um, scheduled to fight Sarah Kaufman May 15th. Do you think it's a significant step up in competition for you? Uh, Kim was 1-1. One and one. Sarah Kaufman is 8-0 and oh with all of her wins coming uh, via KO or TKO. Um, well, definitely it's a step up in competition. You, you know, um, on paper at least from Kim and, and watching video and everything like that, I would say yes, it's going to be a much, much tougher fight. But um, I'm coming in now as, as the underdog, and, um, you know, it's, I kind of like that because uh, it's a win-win situation for me. I think, you know, Sarah Kaufman's a really, really tough girl, and um, she's undefeated. I think that I have what it takes to beat her, but if for some reason it doesn't go the way that, that I'm planned, you know, um, she has a lot of really good victories over a lot of really good girls, and I think it's going to be a good showing and good publicity and everything either way. So, Well, one of your biggest strengths is your wrestling and grappling technique. How do you think you're going to fare against her in that department? Um, I know she has really good takedown defense, and I know that her MMA striking, you know, from every position, even on her feet and, and from top position on the ground, is really good, but I think I'm more explosive than her. She's kind of one pace, and I also think that um, having that, you know, athletic, more, you know, explosive power, I think that that's going to help me get the takedowns and secure good top position in uh and I think it can help me in the stand-up, too, you know. This will be her third fight in the last six weeks. Do you think conditioning or overtraining will play an issue in this fight in terms of her performance? Um, I don't, I, you know, as long as she's coming off of her fight uninjured or anything, I don't think that's really going to be an issue for her because I've been in the same situation where, you know, I'm taking fights back-to-back, and, and it hasn't affected me as long, you know, as long as you don't get hurt in the fight, I get back in there and train, so... I don't, I don't think that's going to affect her, you know what I mean? But um, I've been really busy fighting as well, too. I had a fight April 4th was my last one. So um, we're both, you know, obviously eager to fight, and um, I think that's really going to make for a good fight. Your original fight against Kim Couture was scheduled to take place at 135 pounds. What weight class will this fight take place at? Same weight, 135 pounds. Um, originally, you were scheduled to face Kim Couture. That meant a lot of exposure and publicity for you. Has anything changed since this has happened, or is Kim pulling out of the fight now giving you even more exposure? I think it's given me more exposure. I was kind of surprised. You know, I was thinking that um, it wasn't going to be, you know, all it was cracked up to be when I was fighting Kim, you know, because she's got such a big name and a big draw, but... I already got the exposure, you know, off of the Kim fight as far as everybody being interested in knowing who Kim was, and then she backed out, and it draw, drew a bunch more attention, and now I'm fighting Sarah Kaufman, and I think um, people respect that I'm willing to get in there and and um, stay committed to my commitment and um, fight, you know, a tougher opponent on only two weeks' notice. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to be... Can be really fun. There's been speculation as to why Kim pulled out of the fight. We're not going to go into that. But do you think, and be honest, that our last interview had anything to do with Kim pulling out? Because you came off as extremely confident, and it may have scared her. Do you think that played a part of it? You know, it very, very well could have. You know, um, I can only speculate. Um, but, you know, maybe I think she realized that she kind of got herself in a little deeper than she wanted. Um, I can only guess, but I think that maybe um, on top of whatever personal issues she may be going through, that um, she was also intimidated. So I think might might have been a combination. Earlier you mentioned that you like being the underdog, and now it seems that you are the underdog in this fight against Sarah Kaufman. What kind of motivation or added aggression has this given you coming into this fight? Well, um, the added aggression is just coming from being promised one thing and guaranteed that and then having it changed up, you know, and um, Strikeforce, you know, is kind of um, doing, you know, what's 
what's in their best interest, I guess. But um, it was just kind of a frustrating situation for me. And now, you know, Sarah Kaufman is the one standing, going to be standing in front of me May 15th, and um, I think all that is going to play not in her favor, you know what I mean, because um, I am frustrated at the situation, but uh, I'm trying to make the best of it, and um, my attention is 110% focused on winning this fight with Sarah, so I um, think that I'm underestimated for sure, and coming in as the underdog takes any kind of pressure off of me, and uh, I'm going to be going in there and fighting my heart out. You're going to have a lot of people rooting for you coming up in a few weeks. Give us your prediction for the fight. Um, I predict that we're going to go out there and probably bang for a little bit and see how that goes. And uh, if it goes to the ground, I see myself establishing a dominant position on the ground um, and working to finish the fight. But if not, then going to a decision, and I'm sure it's going to be a war out there for both of us. And and um, I see myself winning either way, hopefully finishing the fight, but if not, winning a decision. This is Aaron True with MMA Worldwide. I'm here with 135-pound female MMA fighter Misha Tate. Misha, is there anything you want to say to your fans before I let you go? Um, just, you know, thank you for all the support and everything. You know, I've had a lot of people be following me through this, and um, I, I hope that uh, I gain a lot of people's respect and everything like that for, for going out there and stepping up and staying true to myself. You know, um, I plan on putting on a spectacular fight either way no matter what happens, um, and I'm going to be leaving everything in that cage May 15th. So I um, hope to see everybody there and um, continue the support that I've been getting. I really do appreciate it in a tough time like this.